Hi, I'm Beth Russell with NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and we're here at Supercomputing 2011 with our Science on a Sphere. It's a, develop, a visualization tool that we've developed to show all of the amazing research that we do at NOAA. And I'm able to use my iPad here with an application that we wrote to control the sphere so I can tilt it, I can rotate it, I can switch data sets, and have complete control over the sphere. So what we're looking at right now is real-time weather and we can show you exactly what's been happening over the past couple of days here in Seattle with our weather. But what else we can do is show sea currents and look at how our oceans are moving and um, the way they are um, transporting water, warm water from the poles up to, or from the equator up to the poles. We can also show earthquake activity and highlight things like the Japanese earthquake and tsunami that happened. So we're able to show everything ocean and atmosphere related with our science on a sphere and show off all of the models that we're able to run with our amazing computing power that we have at NOAA. You get all this data online, real time? So a lot of it is um, real time. It's all through an FTP server. We're able to download it hourly to stay up to date. Um, some of it is also model data, like this, for example, is a model that we run. Um, and it's just a case study of how the climate is likely to change through time. So a lot of different capabilities with our science on this. Did you develop this software to the, show the globe so, by yourself? Yeah, Noah wrote all of the software to make Science on a Sphere work. We actually hold a patent on the technology, um, and we install it in science museums and universities around the world. There's 75 of them all over the place. We are coming from Switzerland. Can you show us uh, the weather we have in Switzerland today? Yeah, absolutely. Let's jump to Switzerland. So this starts on the 10th. It's going to go up through today and show you exactly what's been happening there. Now what we're looking at is an infrared satellite loop. So the white clouds are the lowest, warmest clouds. Purple are mid-level clouds. The teal are the tallest, coldest clouds. And it takes five geostationary satellites to create the image that we're looking at here. So here we are stepping up, getting closer to today. And there we are, that's our last image about two hours ago. Thank you very much. You're welcome.